Hey everybody, Reds Fan 1979 back here with a special baseball card mail day. Have a three package mail day today. Uh, the first two packages are eBay purchases, and the last package here is an additional package from uh, one of my new YouTube friends, Buffalo Junior. So shout out to him. Uh, he sent me some more cards, so appreciate it, Joe. Uh, so let's go with uh, these first two packages. Now there's a funny story about um, the second package here and I'll tell you guys um, one of the little eBay quirks. And I'm actually curious to see you guys' opinion on how you do things, whether you're eBay sellers or whether uh, you've bought multiple cards from the same guy. So this is actually the same eBay seller, um, Jacques Cromier, I guess. Um, so let's see here. All right, there's my first card. It is a 2017 Bowman Ronald Acuna prospect card. So this is just a base um, paper card. Pretty cool. Um, looks like the case got a little bit bent. That's weird in the shipping. I don't know if you guys can see that. That is, wow, that's not cool at all. Um, I'll have to see if I can straighten that out but anyways um ronald acuna prospect card um i have the uh bowman chrome version that i bought uh this was a pretty cheap buy uh two dollars and fifty cents plus shipping so i thought that was a good deal especially for one of baseball's hottest prospects um again i'm not really going after autograph and high price cards um i'm just you know picking a few key prospects and just kind of buying um you know just kind of very simple base versions. You know, we'll just see where they go. So, second one here. Okay, interesting. And then he's got some money in the back. So, let me explain this. Um, when I went ahead and bought these, I, I realized that I wanted both of these cards. So, it's a 2017 Bowman's Best Ronald Acuna prospect card. I actually have this card in my set of Bowman's Best from 2017, but I just decided I'd like another raw version just to add to the Ronald Acuna PC. Again, it was $2.50, and I thought a pretty great deal. So this guy had both of these cards for sale. Um, he, did the, um, he did the shipping, and what was odd is I said, okay, I wanna buy both of these from you. It's always a little weird when you buy, wanna buy multiple cards from one person. So I contacted him like I do with most sellers if I have multiple cards to buy. And I said, hey, what can we do? And he said, well, um, let me send you a combined invoice. So I was waiting for the invoice. Um, it didn't come for a few minutes. We had had communication. So I just decided I'd go ahead and buy it. And I said, look, why don't I buy it? And then you can just go ahead and refund me shipping on one of the cards. Um, and you know, via PayPal or something like that, and you can just combine the cards and ship them together. Well, for some reason, he decided to put the $2.66 of shipping back in this package, which is okay. I mean, he credited me back the package, but then, interestingly, he never shipped the cards together and saved himself uh, the combined shipping. Like, he shipped them together. So, don't really understand that. Um, curious again from some insights for you guys as to whether or not you um, have done that, um, how you handle that, you know, when, when uh, sending multiple cards. So anyways, uh, no big deal. Just curious, a little out of the ordinary. So again, nice Ronald Acuna card. Um, wow, I've never had a, that is really wigging me out. I've never had a top loader bend like that in a package. So I don't know if they put that through. Um, a mail thing, but it most definitely, I think, bent the card. So I'm going to have to see what to do about that. I may need to contact him. So, okay. And then, <clears throat> luckily, it's just a cheap card. I can always buy another version of it. Then my friend Joe here, the last one from Jersey, from Joyzy. Um, Joe Pareka, nice guy. Uh, goes by Buffalo Junior. Uh, we actually sent each other a package a few weeks ago. And then he had found some more Reds cards, I guess, that he wanted to send me. So, thank you. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Holy cow. Oh, cool. Let's see what we have here. Uh, got some kind of a thick pack here. 
shit. Let me go through these first. So, oh, very cool. Topps Heritage, Joey Votto. I think this is the Target exclusive. Uh, Luis Castillo. Oh, that's neat. Reds pitcher. It looks like a blue, like an indigo. Oh, nice. Numbered uh, 29 out of 250. That's neat. There's another uh, Hunter Green. Very cool. Um, really like that. That's the, He had a, another base uh, Bowman version. And then, oh, nice. Very cool. He had the uh, green paper version of Nick Senzel. That's really awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, Nick Senzel's first prospect card was last year in 2017 Bowman, so he's still showing up as a prospect card, but that's actually a really nice insert, man. Hey, appreciate it very much. That's sweet. I'll hit you back with something. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> a little pack of cards. Tom Browning. I remember him from the Reds back in the day. These are cool. Uh, 1986 like mini cards. That's kind of cool. Mario Soto. Dave Parker. Wow. This is going back in the day. Here's some uh, opening day cards. Mr. Redlegs. This is from 2018. Tony Singrani. Joey Votto. There's another Votto here. Um, Joe Morgan. Ooh, I like that card. It's really cool. I've actually never seen that. Love Joe Morgan. Uh, 2017 tops, I think. So it's an all-star. All-time all-stars. Those are neat. Then some more tops heritage. Let's see what we've got here. We've got Avado Tops News. We've got a Tyler Mel, Jackson Stevens, Rookies, Peraza, Votto, Winker, Iglesias, Amir Garrett. Uh, nice Billy Hamilton from Gypsy Queen, Luis Castillo, and Rosell Iglesias. So, wow, Joe, thank you so much for that uh, supplemental package. That was really nice of you. Um, I will keep an eye out for some more Phillies cards and send those back to you. So, Again, everybody, if you haven't subscribed to Buffalo Junior, go check him out. Really nice guy. Uh, appreciate everything. So, uh, again, would love to hear your feedback on the eBay situation with the shipping. Not that big of a deal, but I'm not really sure what the etiquette is for all that and what's kind of traditionally done by both buyers and sellers. So, would love to hear on that. So, anyways, everybody have a great rest of the weekend. Uh, like, comment, subscribe.